and welcome to my Sage 200 Quick Tips Guide. Today we're going to be looking at bank reconciliation. So let's get straight in there and get on with it. So, cash block, then into period end routines, and then bank reconciliation. And then again, bank reconciliation. What I'm going to do is I'm going to reconcile the main bank account. If I select my bank account from the drop-down list and select main bank account, I can see here I have my opening balance and my end balance. Now my opening balance will be the opening balance of my bank statement. My statement date I'm going to put as last Friday and it's just got one page. My closing balance will be the closing balance at the bottom of the bank statement and that is 4642699. So what we do here we can move all these across and start reconciling. So if I notice that this item is on my bank statement I can double click it and it puts it into the reconciled item at the bottom. Now you could do that by doing each individual one, but I find it's quicker if you just tick the ones that are on your bank statement, which for me is this list here, and I click match checked items. Once those are in, they can be reconciled, but you can see here your difference is zero. You must ensure that your balance and your difference must be zero at the end. Before we actually click reconcile, you can actually put individual lines on hold. So if I see this line, for instance, think that £1,000 there, we shouldn't be reconciling it. I can click a query and put do not use. OK, that. And that means even if I try and tick the item, it won't allow me to do it. That cannot be reconciled until I actually go in and remove that query. So I click OK there and now I could tick that item. Because my bank rate actually matches, my opening balance is my opening balance, my closing balance actually matches and there's no difference, I can click reconcile. Once you click reconcile, you'll produce two reports, your unreconciled report and your reconciled report, which is there and there, which you can print out and attach to your bank statement. That completes the bank reconciliation tutorial. 